According to Experian Health's 2022 State of Claim Survey, 30% of healthcare professionals say that claim denials are increasing anywhere from 10% to 15%. Thankfully, claim management teams have the option to appeal most of these denials, or else that would be a lot of lost revenue. If your claim is denied, you have the right to an internal appeal. But there is another step you can take after sending out an appeal if insurance still won't process it. Introducing the external review. By performing an external review, you can take your appeal to an independent third party for review. So what is the difference between the two? Hi everyone, I'm Maria from eTactics and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between an internal appeal and an external review. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. As a medical billing employee, you know that there are hundreds of different denial codes you might run into on a daily basis. And despite doing your best, you may not be able to avoid all of them. No matter what the denial code is, after receiving it, your next step should be to try to appeal with the insurance company. This is known as an internal appeal, and to properly file it, you will need to do the following. Complete all forms required by your health insurer, or you can write to your insurer with your name, claim number, and health insurance ID number. Submit any additional information that you want the insurer to consider such as a letter from the doctor. After completing the internal appeals process, the insurance company must provide you with a written decision. If they still deny the service or payment for a service, you can ask for an external review from an independent third party. Side note, before you request an external review, you must first ask the payer directly to reconsider this decision through an internal appeal. Can't skip right to the big guns. Anyway, with an external review, insurance companies no longer get the final say over whether to pay a claim. There are two steps in the external review process. One, you must file a written request for an external review within four months after the date you receive a notice from your insurer that your claim has been denied. And two, an external review either upholds your insurer's decision or decides in your favor. Your insurer is then required by law to accept the external reviewer's decision. Note that insurance companies in all states must offer an external review process that meets the federal consumer protection standards. Now the best tip I could give you in regards to fixing claim denials is to take the preventative approach. Take measures to avoid them by investing in clearinghouse services. For those who are new here, clearinghouses are a helpful tool that can help you prevent claim denials by taking affected claims, processing them, and returning them to you quickly if there are any errors that need to be addressed. This way you only need to worry about sending them to the insurance company once and can hopefully avoid both internal appeals and external reviews altogether. If you'd like to learn more about how to handle claim denials, reach out to eTactics and you already made it this far into the video so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.